Well, welcome to my second ever Horror Show Entertainment's Paperbacks from Hell video. Last time we looked at books that started with A, and then B, then C. This time we're going D, F, G. I don't really have any E's besides, well, The Exorcist and uh, another shark book, but these are pulpy. Dime a dozen books. So, you have to kind of go with it. But last time... A commenter by the name of Indie Phantom said that I should showcase the books more. So I'm going to try to do my best with that on this video. And uh, we'll go from there. And I want to give a book a shout out. It's Paperbacks from Hell. It's what this whole series is inspired by. I'll leave a link in the description below on how to get a copy of the book for a good price. And uh, that's about it. Let's just dive right into this. And uh, if you hear a gunshot go off, it's because my brother's shooting in the basement. So the first book I got here is Day of the Animals. This was a novelization of the film Day of the Animals, which, surprisingly, I haven't seen the full thing of it. I've seen parts, I've seen where the bear attacks the guy, and uh, it's a lot better than I think and William Girdler's other film Grizzly. But Day of the Animals was a fun time of what I've seen of it. I still need to read the book, and I'll probably read it before I see the movie, because uh, that's always a good way to go about it. Then I have a book that could be in a lot better condition. But it's not, so I have to work with it. it really, there's it just it's not bad condition, it's just the, the back and front cover have creases. I don't like that. But it's dead and buried. I've seen this movie. This movie is weird. But I love it. <clears throat> it's a horror story about a town that is just trying to uh, take dead people and bring them back to life in a way. I haven't seen the film in a while, but the twist always eludes me. I'm like, oh, what was that movie about again? You can't hit on it. It's it's a great film with an eerie atmosphere, and I bet the book will convey just about the same amount of mood and uh, cinematography that the film provided. Then I have a book that intrigued me since the day I actually saw it uh, on Amazon. I was like, is this about a killer dog or something? It's called Deadly Nature. Now... Deadly Nature is a big book for th these kind of releases. It's like a two-headed dog or something, or a two-faced dog, so that's really cool. I think there's two stories in here, Dark Woods and Dark Secret. Then there's Altogether Deadly Nature. I'll have to read this sometime. I've had it for years. Next up, I have the first book in a two-part series by Guy Ann Smith. This one's called Death Bell. Now, Death Bell, it's about demons in a church, I guess. It is interesting. The cover is awesome, and I love Guy Ann Smith's books, so I kind of really want to read this as soon as possible. Maybe next Halloween I'll have a review for it or something. Along with its sequel, Demons. <laughs> now just look at that artwork. That is insane. But Guy Ann Smith, I think, will just really sell this story. He did it with crabs, so might as well do it with demons. But Demons, yeah, it's an awesome cover. And it could it be a totally different story, or could it be connected? Who knows? Then I have a book that is a novel of sexual possession. It's called The Daemon. Just a black cover. This is the original artwork with just the demonic kid on the back. This was before The Omen, but after The Exorcist. Daemon is just a possessed kid. Next up, I have dogs. I have this on hardcover, too. But we're not talking hardcover here, are we? Uh, dogs, this could, edition could be a lot better. It's pretty worn, but I've seen the movie, which was pretty entertaining. I love this artwork. That's why I got this paperback. Because the hardcover paperback is a little too cartoonish for my taste. Um, the film, and I think the book too, is a Jaws ripoff, which is funny because you have uh, multiple dogs killing people. It's kind of like Piranha. There's a multitude of creatures attacking people, but this is a variety of a multitude of dogs, so that's cool. Then I have, I'm skipping over the E's, going to the F's, Feral. This is a killer cat book, apparently. It's just, it's a short book. It's like, what? Let me see. It's really small. 120-something pages, and it's in great condition. It came out in 74, 1974. The book is in this good of condition. This was around the time of Jaws. So I don't know if it was influenced by it or not, but Killer Creature stuff was always coming out, even before Jaws. Jaws just struck it big. Then I have a Killer Piranha book. No, it's not Piranha. It's called Fleshbait. 
uh, is it piranha or uh, some other kind of fish? Not really piranha, but who knows? It could be about piranha, and it's about killer fish, so it's not to love. Flesh bait. Then I have this book that was made into a movie. I got this at a Salvation Army, and it's like a really long book. It's called Ghost Story. Yeah, it's, it's a movie that was made in 1980 based off of this book, and I think that's really interesting. And if I ever do read it, I hope to really enjoy it, because it's a big book. Over 500, almost 600 pages. So, Gila, based off of the 1959 film called Gila. It won't let you go, is the tagline. Uh, I, I really want to get into this as soon as possible. Uh, I love the cover so much. Just the Gila monster attacking a carnival in town. That is just a thing of beauty. Then we have one that is a major motion picture, and it's for good reason, it's a great film. But now I have the book, Gremlins. This is a hard one to find. The film was directed by Joe Dante and produced by Steven Spielberg, so that's a great matchup team. The film, it's great. The book, I'm betting, will be great too. Maybe it'll be even gorier, who knows. It's a horror comedy for children back in the 80s, with adult themes, of course. It's in the mid-80s, and... Got tons of fun going on. Creatures attacking a town. And with Gremlins, you gotta have Gremlins 2, the new batch. I mean, this isn't a book from 1990. That's when the film was released. So, when growing up, I always watched the first one, not the second one. But I've given it a fair chance now. And it's a really good movie with a lot of awesome effects. It's just the poster for Gremlins 2 on the cover. But that was always an awesome poster. I, I always really enjoyed it. And last but not least for this episode, I have Grizzly. I started off with Day of the Animals, the film by William Girdler, and I ended on Grizzly, a film by William Girdler. So that's pretty cool. Grizzly is a 1976 film that has a Jaws ripoff to the T. It has everything that Jaws had, only it's like half an hour shorter, and it's a lot more graphic. I've read this book before. The kills are way more vicious than in the movie. The movie is PG, shockingly enough. But Grizzly, great book, pretty good movie. What am I saying? I love Grizzly. I wish they made the sequel come true. So yeah, those are all the books I have for this episode. Got a lot of good ones here. And a lot of that I haven't read yet. By the way, watch my book updates because I have some other books coming in that are starting with a B. And I've already done the first video. So if you don't see it in that video, it's because it's coming up in sooner in a book update. But it's by Guy Adam Smith. Hint, hint. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below. Do you have comments and subscribe.